Welcome to this tutorial, which will take through a new Financials AI feature. We're going to start in Manage Compliance. Click on Continue, Status, Show Details. So we're looking at Financials today. I'm going to click the drop down and Edit. This brings up my financial form. On the first page, we've got information. So I'm a small company. This can be changed to any type of company that you are, but I am small, so I'm keeping that there. I'm going to upload my newest, latest financials. And there they are. Confirm. I'm private limited. Again, this can be changed to whatever you are, but I am working as a private limited company today. Add new. My cap type of company, private limited company, and a small company. So my financials are for this financial year, 2022, and the year end, 30th of April, 2022. My accounts are for 12 months. They've been running from the 1st of May through to the 30th of April 2022. If they were 18 months, if you changed your filing period with the company's house or nine months, you can change this here to what it needs to be. I'm going to upload my document again. I can go to the document library and there's my latest accounts I've just uploaded. So I'm going to click on those and confirm. The AI is now reading my financial document. This may take a few moments. Just be patient with it. So what we can see, let's pull out the account here, all my balance sheet information and the profit and loss information. If the AI is unable to find a number, it'll have a little mark that says X, I haven't found turnover or profit loss before tax. Um, these will need to be manually entered by yourself. But in this instance, it has found all my details. I'm going to apply to the form that says I've discovered seven fields and applied below. We're going to check that the information is correct. Starting with the income statement, so the first number we have is turnover. On our profit and loss statement, looking at the turnover, 7123123. Yes, that number is right. Profit before taxation, 1017246. -1 it matches 1017246. We come on down to the balance sheet. The first number at the top of our page is issued and paid up capital. And down here we can see that that is £100. It is correct. The reserves amount. 6246369, and that is what has been extracted. Long term debt, also known as creditors' amounts falling due after more than one year, 1123123, and we can see that it is correct. We then have current assets, which is an addition of all our current assets, and it's 6369369, which is what has been extracted. And current liabilities, 1123123, or creditors' amounts falling due within one year, and that, that number matches as well. So I'm happy that all the numbers that have been extracted by the AI are correct. So if I press I confirm that the above information is correct, it will allow me to save and submit. So I click that, and now I have the option to save. Bring me back to the first page, and then I can submit it, and it will go in for verification, and it will be verified shortly. Thank you for watching this video.